Hello, I'm Dr. Inman. This is a mini lecture on lick granuloma in the canine, which has plagued the veterinary medicine for hundreds of years. The condition in the, in the canine of uh, lick granuloma looks very much like this. This is a very severe version of it. It essentially involves usually the front legs or the rear legs, the lateral aspect of the rear leg essentially. It's thought to be a continual cutaneous problem with secondary excoriation and secondary infection. It's treated with antibiotics, it's treated with bitter orange, we wrap them up, we put a cone on them, we do all kinds of things. These animals cannot stop going after their legs. The reason that is is because it either hurts, it's numb, or it itches. And this is thought to be a skin condition, an infectious condition, or an idiosyncratic condition. It is not. It is in fact a neural or a peripheral neuropathy. What happens is the cutaneous branch of the radial nerve actually becomes, due to toxicosis or injury, becomes compromised. And this area of the foreleg in this dog, for instance, becomes numb or itchy or burns or hurts. So the dog goes after it. As the dog goes after it, histiocytes and plasmacytes build up in that tissue that's continually excoriated, chewed on, or um, essentially licked and secondarily infected. And they basically take up residence there. So they continually discharge into the periphery of the wound histamines, which of course are itchy, which the dog goes after some more. And so we have an itch scratch cycle, itch scratch, itch scratch, and it becomes secondarily infected. In the rear leg of the canine, where it occurs on the lateral side because the dog can get at it, this is the cutaneous branch of the common peroneal nerve, essentially, which is, goes to this particular area, and the dog will go after that and make the same kind of problem. They don't do that because they don't have anything else to do or they're bored, even though sometimes people try to treat these dogs with doggy Prozac. What happens is we have an actual phenomenon as a peripheral neuropathy, okay? And so the treatment of it involves treating the antibacterial. With antibacterials, of course, take care of the infection. Try to keep the dog away from it, of course. We can do that with a cone or we can do that by wrapping it. Uh, putting bitter orange on that or other things that make the, the taste horrible or hot really doesn't solve the problem because the dog busily lack, licks that off and that produces more inflammation. The way that we take care of it, though, is uh, sometimes, God forbid, surgery where we cut that area out. If you'll notice that this particular area and also the area on the rear leg actually circumscribes the dermatome associated with the cutaneous branch of the peroneal, common peroneal nerve and also the cutaneous branch of the radial nerve in the front leg. So it is a nerve problem. If we cut the tissue out, there's no dermatome to affect, essentially. However, it's very difficult to get the tissues to come back together again because you don't have any tissue there to really your skin to close the wound. So it could be a total disaster if not done correctly. The way that we take care of it is, and sometimes we have adjusted these animals essentially because they have lower cervical problems and that has solved the problem. But once we started using the laser devices, we realized that we could actually rehabilitate the actual tissues. We use this as a nerve problem. The preset head will go here and the program head will go up and down on the leg tip like this for about 180 seconds. The frequencies are going to be these. For the, for the nerve, it's going to be 9, 16, 42, comma, and then we also treat with 153. These, these frequencies are in our list of frequencies, and you don't have to memorize them. We also then treat for skin, 363. We treat for infection, 784. We treat for antihistamine, which is 1, uh, or 1342 and 2187. Again, these frequencies are frequencies you don't have to remember because we have them on a master list of how to take care of these types of problems. We do this extensively in the actual cores. We utilize this approach too as a two-headed laser approach or we can utilize <clears throat> a single-headed laser approach like this for about 120 seconds essentially. This therapy is, is, is repeated twice a day for three days, once a day for three days, and twice a week for two weeks. This is essentially how we go about taking care of this problem. We're doing two things. We're sterilizing the tissue, we're taking care of the infection, we're allows, inducing the connective tissue to re-epithelialize, and we're also basically uh, trying to re-establish nerve function. The nerve function basically will re-establish itself slowly. Slowly means instead of one millimeter per week, it basically uh, re-establishes at about a half a centimeter per week, which is through five times faster, if not ten times faster. And so my point is, is that we want to use this approach to try to get this animal to leave this alone. Once we can get the animal to leave it alone for about two or three um, weeks, then we'll probably get it to heal adequately, essentially, and we'll be able to treat these granulomas is so they don't continually cause an undying, uh, undying problem. In black Labradors, they can get so severe that we have a callus on the top of that leg uh, foot that can be this thick and secondarily infected, and also it can expose the bone and kill the animal too. So it's not a good situation. Also, surgery 
Well, it's done by a very um, <clears throat> effective surgeon who does a sliding H-plasty to make up enough space to close that is kind of out of the question unless the surgeon really knows what they're up to. And, of course, I would recommend somebody who has experience in, in plastic surgery and canine to go ahead and do this. This has been a lecture on uh, canine granuloma syndrome or canine uh, uh, skin granulomas or lick granulomas, essentially. For more information, please see the vomtech.com website and also the, tech, the, the sites that are indicated in this particular um, uh, YouTube video. Thank you, and have a good day.